This is the Pinarello Dogma F8, belonging to Team Sky and Italy's Olympic Omnium gold medalist from Rio 2016, Elliot Viviani. I think you can tell from the gold theme that he might have won something quite big recently. Viviani's win at the Omnium didn't come as too much of a surprise. He's an incredibly talented track rider and he split his time in 2016 equally between road and track to focus on winning that medal, which he took ahead of fellow road sprinter and cycling legend Mark Cavendish. First up, this bike is almost all about the paint job, isn't it? You've got the gold at the front, you've got the Azuri, the blue at the back, you've got the white in the middle, Italian flag detail, there's Rio 2016 up there, and there is a Tuta Elia, which I think means something to do with everyone or everything, but my Italian is absolutely terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna be quiet for five to 10 seconds and let you look at a montage of this stunning paint job. Okay. We're back from the montage and let's look at some tech and where better to start than the very top of Viviani's bike where he is using a Physique Arioni 00 saddle. Two things about the Arioni 00. 00, zero, zero is Physique's top of the range saddle range. So braided carbon fiber rails, a carbon fiber base, one of the lightest that is available. And the Arioni is for what Physique in their spine concept of bike fit deemed to be snake riders. So the most flexible cyclist out there, which again makes sense for Viviani because he's a track rider, so he's used to spending long durations of time in the drops. The stem is a Pro Vibe Sprint stem. And now that was initially a Mark Cavendish signature product. And not on this side of the bike, but on the other side, they've taped over Cav's signature with a little bit of insulating tape. But as Viviani beat him at the Omnium, maybe he's got, maybe he's got the one up there anyway. Anyway, moving forward from the stem, they've got Pro Aluminium handlebars and they're a standard anatomical drop. Viviani has Durace Di2 shifters. He's got Durace Di2 satellite shifters in the drops. To link up with that, got a Durace Di2 front mech and a Durace Di2 rear mech. Durace chain set with 39.53 chain rings. He has got a Durace cassette, that's an 11 through to 28. Wheels and brakes are also supplied by Shimano. So Viviani has Shimano Durace brakes and he has Shimano Durace wheels. We're filming this pro bike at the Abu Dhabi Tour. So you'd expect the racing to be generally really very flat and really fast with a bit of crosswind. So Viviani's wheel choice makes sense, bearing that in mind. He has got a C50 up front, so aerodynamic but slightly lower profile so he won't get blown around in the crosswinds too much and at the back he's got a c75 so that's the deepest standard wheel that shimano do and it's the most aerodynamic which makes sense for flat fast sprint stages tires are tubular they're supplied by continental and they're the competition pro limited alx 25 millimeters so pro limited tires have a latex inner tube and they also have a slick center section on the alx tires which when you know I don't think it's rained here for quite a while. On very, very dry days, that makes sense. It'll be slightly faster rolling. All that leaves on the bike build is the bottle cages and the pedals. And both of these tie into the custom paint job theme of the bike. So he's got speed play pedals. Some Skyriders use Shimano, some Skyriders use speed play, and they are in blue. So much the blue back here. And he has got elite custom race bottle cages. And those custom race bottle cages are gold. So match the gold theme of the bike and Viviani's Olympic Omnium gold medal. Vital statistic time. First up, the weight of this bike is 7.5 kilograms, which when you consider that it doesn't have purposefully the lightest build on it, it's got a deep rear wheel, and also that it has a stunning, in my opinion, custom paint job, which does add quite a lot of weight. That's a very reasonable weight for the bike, and it's not gonna hold him back at all on the flat roads here in Abu Dhabi. His reach from the nose of the saddle to the center of the stem is 58 centimeters, and the stem is 14 centimeters long. Now, unlike all of the other aluminium pro stems that Team Sky use, the Pro 5 Sprint is not available in millimeter increments, so it's only available in centimeter increments. Sight quirk. And also, that stem is absolutely slammed. There's not even a millimeter of space there. Just shows how low Viviani wants to get and how aero he wants to get with his track background and with his sprint pedigree. The bars are 42 centimeters wide, so not the narrowest, but slightly wider to give him some extra leverage when he's really hammering it out of the saddle. His saddle height is around 74 centimeters. And finally, the tire widths. Now, I get really interested in tire widths, mainly because I'm a bit of a bike nerd, but I think fatter tires are slightly better. And we've seen that in the Pro Peloton as they've moved over from, I guess, 21s years ago to 23s a few years ago to 25 millimeters as standard on nearly every set of wheels for every team now. And these are 25 millimeter tires, nominally. 
The front one comes in at 25.57 millimeters and the rear one comes in at 25.50 millimeters. Now, I'm prepared to accept there's probably a degree of error in how we use the calipers when we measure the tires and in the calipers measuring the tires themselves, but I think that's really, really close to the mark of 25 millimeters. Fair play Continental and fair play Team Sky's Mechanics who've glued the tires to the rims, which does affect how wide they are. There we go. I think in terms of gold Olympic paint jobs, this is definitely one of my favorite bikes yet. And if you do agree, please do hit thumbs up on this video and share it too. At GCM, we do a lot of pro bike videos. And if you'd like to check out every single pro bike we've ever done on the channel way back to 2013, there is a playlist right there. And like I said earlier, we are filming this bike at the Abu Dhabi Tour. So to see all of our videos from the 2016 edition of the race, check out the playlist right down there. Finally, please do subscribe to GCN. All you need to do is click on the logo, which is over my face.